Let's go right off the top with this. One of the biggest items in the news cycle the last number of uh, weeks has been, of course, Robert Pattinson being cast as Batman. Now, it's been a really good stretch for Pattinson lately. He was cast as one of the leads in the upcoming Christopher Nolan film. That's huge. He gets cast as the new Batman, getting everybody talking. That's huge. But there are still some people out there to some degree, understandably so, that are still a little apprehensive about Robert Pattinson because, let's face it, a lot of the work that Robert Pattinson has done in the last uh, seven, eight years outside of Twilight has been really smaller indie-style films. Now, he's done a bunch of them, and he's been magnificent in all of them, and the people who have seen them, including all the critics and everything, adore his work in these things, but there's a lot of people who haven't seen that stuff, and when they think of Robert Pattinson... To some degree, understandably, all they think about him is as the kid in Twilight and like Twilight boy is going to be Batman, you know, that sort of thing. Well, if you needed another vote of confidence, Academy Award winning and multi-time nominated director Danny Boyle, who of course did like 28 Days Later, 127 Hours, Slumdog Millionaire, uh, Train Spotting, on and on and on and on. And he was directing the newest Bond film. He he and his writing partner were working on the newest Bond film. They were going to do Bond, and then they and the producers just had creative differences, and they departed the film. But at any rate, if you needed another vote of confidence for Robert Pattinson, Academy Award-winning director who was working on Bond, Danny Boyle, was recently being interviewed, and he was talking about another film, but he was asked about Bond, and he said, you know what? I would take Robert Pattinson as the next Bond. I would take Robert Pattinson as the next Bond. He said, you know, I was just watching one of his latest films, High Life, which if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. I was just watching one of his latest films, High Life, and I'm just, this guy is Bond. Now, somebody asked him, but maybe he's a, is he a little bit too young to play Bond. He goes, what, are you crazy? He's 33 years old. He's not too young to play Bond. This is a perfect age for, for an actor to start playing Bond. So if you're somebody, if you're one of these people who's like, you want to be optimistic about you know, the new Batman film, and you want to be optimistic about Robert Pattinson being cast in the role, but you just haven't seen anything else, then here's another little piece of ammo for you. Not only does Christopher Nolan love this guy and cast him as one of the leads in his movie, not only has Matt Reeves shown confidence and Warner Brothers shown confidence in this guy by making him the new Batman, now Danny Boyle himself is saying, this guy's so good, he could be Bond. He could be Bond. Now, that would be quite a trifecta for Robert Pattinson, right? I'm uh, Edward Cullen, one of the most successful franchises of all time. I'm Batman, and I'm James Bond. That would be like a cool trifecta for the dude. But anyway, uh, I I actually think I never thought of Robert Pattinson as Bond, but now that I think about it, you know, he'd probably make a pretty good one. I mean, not my first choice, obviously, but he'd probably make a pretty good Bond. All right. Anyway. We